Mary Warren. Mary Warren is a retired psychiatric nurse. During her career, she was on the front lines dealing with some very crazy people. When one of her patients pulled a huge knife, she thought she might die. I was working on the inpatient psych unit at Peninsula Hospital, and we had a new patient that had been admitted that morning and was admitted by another nurse on the unit, and I had not yet received report about this man. Um, so I didn't know about him or, or his story. Um, and usually we always had two people on the unit. Um, others had gone to lunch and the mental health assistant that was left on the unit with me was in the restroom. And this man came up to the counter and saw me there. And he was, he had on um, tall cowboy boots. And usually as part of the admission process, we make sure that we go through the luggage or whatever they have with them so that we can make sure that um, there's nothing toward on the unit. Um, but he pulled a long knife out of his cowboy boot and pointed it at me and said, I see no reason why I shouldn't use this on you right now. And you know how they say, when you're dying, things flash through your mind? Well, yeah. I had never had that experience until that moment. And the things that flashed through my mind were, I'm alone. I don't have time to ask for help. Um, I'm short and slim, and I'm not going to muscle this man. Um, so, uh, and then the other thing that flashed was, I don't know him, I don't know his story, and I do know psychiatric patients can be um, sometimes difficult, sometimes um, dramatic or unruly or um, impulsive, and sometimes untethered to reality. So I didn't know which of those many things this man might be. The other thing that flashed through my mind and, and was what saved me was a very wise mentor that I had, a woman, another woman, a small woman um, in my um, training that had said to me more than once, do something unexpected and do it with kindness. And I took a deep breath and I looked at that man and I said, I'm sorry, I guess nobody explained to you that we can't have weapons on this unit. I said, I'm sorry, that's our fault. And I said, we need to keep you safe and everybody else safe, so why don't you put the knife on the counter and I'm gonna put it away and when you leave, you get it back. And he looked at me and he looked at the knife and then he put it down on the counter and he said, oh, okay. And he turned around and walked away. <laughs> and at that moment, my knees were shaking, my heart was beating, my, I started breathing again and realized that I had been holding my breath. And I, I realized how afraid I was at that moment, but that those words of my mentor um, came true once more. <laughs> Life-saving, yeah, yeah. What's remarkable about both Carl's and Mary's stories is their strategies to de-escalate bad situations. They always went for calm. Carl asked, hey, what's going on? Let's just take a deep breath. And Mary calmly explains hospital policies about weapons. Also, Mary told me later that whenever she had to deal with new admissions that might have been hysterical or dangerous, the first thing she did was offer them a cup of tea. It calmed things right down.